At Yosemite National Park in the northern part of the state of California, a bear ambles fearlessly across a forest glade, and a herd of deer stroll down an empty road. The park, famed for its waterfalls and giant sequoia trees, normally attracts more than three million visitors a year. But since it closed to tourists under coronavirus guidelines, normally shy animals are venturing out. If you were to be there in person, it is quite a sight because it's very quiet right now in the park. You hear the natural sounds of the river and the wildlife and the birds. From elephants taking a stroll in a suburb in India to a young puma on the streets of Santiago, Chile, wild animals are being spotted in the unlikeliest places. Professor Sarah Beckersey explains. A lot of these species are, have been existing on the periphery of cities, but because the threats that they typically experience, the traffic, the noise, the, the, uh, the air pollution and the conflict with people have been dramatically reduced uh, from the self-isolation that we're all having to experience, these animals have been emboldened um, to actually re-enter these places. That's certainly the case in Great Britain, where residents in lockdown in a London suburb have been enjoying regular visits by a herd of friendly deer. My little girl thinks that Santa sent the reindeers because we're all locked down, so we can keep an eye on everyone and make sure everyone's safe. Do you like another one? In Italy, a Tuscan family adopted a fawn that considers itself part of the family. He's at the front door again this morning and we went for a walk again. <laughs> he spent the day with us yesterday and he just joined us pretty much in everything. But not all wildlife encounters have been so friendly. In the Israeli city of Haifa, where the coronavirus is keeping residents indoors, wild boars have swarmed into people's gardens. Salam. Onto deserted streets, rooting through garbage and spooking residents. They are all around here and we are terrifying that they will bring us a uh, corona or other disease. The coronavirus lockdown has brought out wildlife in other parts of Israel as well. In Tel Aviv, packs of jackals have taken over a deserted park, scavenging for food in what is normally a playground. But some residents are taking it all in stride. Usually these animals are not doing anything to people, to pets. People have to understand that they are going to stay with us. They were before and they are going to stay after us. I really hope that this time in, in self-isolation when we're actually seeing these remarkable things happen in our cities will awaken us to the fact that we can share our spaces with wildlife. And it's actually, it's enchanting and it's beautiful and it's, it's something that we should desire. In these days of uncertainty, Self-isolation may be an ideal time to reflect on how we share the earth with other creatures. Julie Tabo, VOA News.